who's in Chessington now. Hi, Alice. Hi, Riz. This is a new pirate ship ride. It's never been uh, used before by visitors and uh, visitors uh, arriving next week when Chessington reopens will be going on it for the first time and here today they've been testing the rides uh, ahead of next week's reopening because of course they've laid motionless for months. There have not been many adventures here for a while, well specifically since the 5th of January. The rides are empty and the stalls are closed but next week all the fun of the fair will be back, mostly. So a number of our outdoor attractions are open, but we do have a small number of indoor attractions that will have to remain closed. Uh, including... New COVID safety measures are in place here. Social distancing, timed entries and temperature checks, etc. As the largest local employer, the fact that the entire workforce can now return is a major boost for the area. We usually have over a thousand staff on the books. Um, we have had to obviously furlough a large number of those. Uh, around 90% of our staff have been on furlough throughout this period, so from January the 5th up until we reopen. Um, we have kept on a certain amount to maintain the ride so that they're safe for when our adventurers come back and obviously to look after our zoo animals. Speaking of which, Olga here has apparently been missing us. They really have noticed. We've got a few staff back on site now getting things ready and she has seen those people around and wondering what's going on. They haven't had people now here for just over three months. This will be the fourth time that Chessington has reopened and the problem for theme parks like this is that the rules keep changing so this time people will need to wear a mask on all the rides. This job is so surreal sometimes. <laughs> Off we go. I say we, it's just me on my own. <laughs> it has been, well, a roller coaster for so many businesses coping with restrictions as well as for families at home with fewer activities in the holidays. There is hope on the horizon though as we gradually come out of lockdown. Well, here to tell us uh, more about how this is all going to happen next week is Tim Harrison-Jones, Div Divisional Director for Merlin Entertainment. Thank you for joining us. Um, tell us a little bit about the mechanics of reopening uh, a place like this, which of course uh, cuts across so many different sets of rules. We're quite well versed in reopening our theme park in our, our marvellous zoo. Um, last year we obviously opened and closed about four times. So it's a huge effort uh, to, to bring all our team back. Some of them have been on furlough and also then recruiting some new team members to start to welcome guests back to the resort this Monday. And what do you think it means for this area? Obviously it's a major attraction for people in the whole region, but for this particular area it's a major employer. We are the single largest private employer in Royal Borough of Kingston and the largest employer of young uh, people aged uh, 16 to 25 year olds. And I think, you know, certainly bringing people back to work is important. And what was really unfortunate this year, we, we saw a huge in uh, uptake of uh, applications. So we had to close our applications after four days because we had over 2,000 uh, applications. And we would normally see that over about six weeks back in 2019 so the sector of hospitality and tourism has been hit so incredibly hard um, but we're pleased to offer a, a, another 300 new employees who start at the resort this Monday uh, welcoming our guests back to the resort. And you're taking bookings and I gather you're fully booked for Monday itself? Yes we, everything is pre-booked so every guest has to pre-book uh, for the theme park and our hotel obviously. Um, there are some spaces still available but we, we think that they will go pretty quickly. Okay. Um, I'm really looking forward to bringing families back to the resort. Absolutely. Tim Harrison-Jones, thanks very much for talking to us. Well, of course, uh, outdoor theme parks are not the only venues reopening as of Monday. Uh, we will also see zoos and safari parks as well as aquariums reopening. Uh, we can also look forward to drive-in events and outdoor entertainment like outdoor cinemas, theatres and other performances. And of course, outdoor fun fairs and, f and fairgrounds. So uh, hopefully it'll mean that families can catch the tail end of the Easter holidays uh, and there's a bright future ahead. Alice, thanks very much for that.